What is up everyone? I'm Gabriel Morales and welcome back to another episode at Liquid Memoir where we drink and create memories together. Today we're making the Duke of Suffolk. The Duke of Suffolk is a drink that is a take on the Irish coffee. Created by bartender Giuseppe Gonzalez. He used to own a bar called Suffolk Arms. Now, this drink was actually the most popular drink in this establishment. There may be a few reasons why this drink was the most popular at Suffolk. Maybe it's because it looks like the Irish coffee, or it's because it's a delicious gin hot punch, or maybe it's because it's a very simple drink. But let's not take too much time. Let's just make it and find out. Let's get behind the stick. Before we make the drink, let's make the sweet tea. We need equal parts of English breakfast and Earl Grey. While making the tea, make sure you have a glass that's preheating with hot water. In the meantime, set the glass aside and pour 15 ounces or 444 mils of hot water. Water should not be above boiling point, so keep it under 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Now grab four total tea bags, two English breakfasts, and two Earl Grey teas. Sorry tea lovers, I don't have any loose tea. And let this steep for five minutes. Don't let it steep for too long, otherwise your tea will get very dry and bitter. All right, so five minutes have passed and I already took my tea bags out. Now it's time to add sweetener to the tea. Yes, you do need sweetener for this drink. You can add sugar to your liking. However, Giuseppe recommends this to be three parts tea to one part sweetener. So we need five ounces or 150 mils of simple syrup. Give that a quick stir and that's our tea. Now we're ready to build a drink. First, discard the warm water from your glass and add gin. Giuseppe says that any gin works, but that Hendrix or Ford's works best for this drink. I don't have either right now, so I'm gonna use Beefeater. This gin has plenty of botanicals on the nose and very crisp flavors on the palate. Soft, but long lasting juniper on the finish. Pour one and a quarter ounce or 38 mils. This glass is about five and a half ounces, but if you have a bigger glass, you certainly may add more gin. And to that, we're simply gonna top it off with our English and Earl Grey sweetened tea mix. Make sure to leave a bit of space on top of the glass in order to add some cream. I like the cream to be a bit thick. I just add some in the shaker and give it a quick dry shake, about five seconds or even less. Once done shaking, pour the cream on top of the cocktail over the back of a spoon. As for the garnish, add a generous amount of freshly grated nutmeg. And that's it. There's your Duke of Suffolk. Cheers. Let's taste the drink. Uh, first off, you get a lot of the nutmeg. Um, let's uh, give it a taste. Mmm, this is a fantastic drink. I don't know it's, if it's because of the tea or just the combination between both the tea and the gin. I feel, even just after that one sip, I feel very relaxed, very, very at ease. This is a type of drink that you're gonna take your time with, you're gonna actually enjoy, take a few sips. Even as we did three to one parts between, sweet, between tea and simple syrup or sugar, it's actually quite well balanced. I would order one of these after a shift. Like if I want to just some, if I want something slightly lower ABV, slightly more soothing and calming and just to enjoy for a while. This is really nice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That's going to be it for me. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, share with friends. And I'll see you all the next one.